What's up you guys? Hey, thanks for watching this video. In this video, I want to tell you guys how to be the best medical student ever. So a lot of people ask me, how do I be a great medical student? How do I get you know good recommendations to get a good residency and all that stuff? This is the key, this video, okay? First, I want to tell a little story because I like telling stories and I think they're fun. And usually people understand a little bit better when you tell a story. When I was an intern, the very first day, we got a bunch of books, mostly medical, but we got one book given to me by one of the vascular surgeons at our program and his name was Dr. Shepard. Dr. Shepard was the bomb. Dude trained at Hopkins like medical school and residency back in the day where he actually said that they would take calls so much that they would sleep in the bathroom on the floor in the bathroom and like there'd be two interns on at a time and one intern would like cover for the other one the other one would go in the bathroom and sleep on the floor because they were so tired and they didn't want to get caught like sleeping somewhere else he gave this book out to all the interns it was called a message to garcia and the story in it it's a very very tiny book you want to pick it up it's really cool so the message in this book is that in some war the u.s forces needed to get a message to somebody who was like undercover in cuba and that was basically the enemy so they didn't want to go behind enemy lines because then they you know they would be caught and they would cause a whole problem but they needed to get this special message to this guy and they his name was garcia so the captain was like holy shit, who do we get to take this message to Garcia because we don't even know where Garcia is he's undercover like and we can't get to him We can't ask him. Where are you? So who do we get to take him this message and the they came to the conclusion that was Rowan this guy Rowan They're like dude give it to Rowan. He will do anything the the guy's a killer like he'll just you just hand him the message and say get this to Garcia you don't tell him who Garcia is where Garcia is or you know how to find him you just say get this message to Garcia and so Rowan did that and he just, he didn't ask any questions. Okay, you see what I'm getting at? He didn't ask, say, he didn't say, oh geez, you know, I don't really know where Garcia is. Could you give me like a hint? Or, you know, I, I think maybe I, I, I'm gonna need some more time to research this. He said, no problem. So that is my message to you. If you wanna be a great medical student, you take a message to Garcia. When somebody asks you to do something, there's no questions asked about like, well, I'm not really sure if I know how to do that. I can't do that. You fucking figure it out, okay? One of my chief residents was famous. All he did all day, I was, like when I was an intern, he, you know, he would give you things to do. And I didn't really take the, the book very seriously. So I'd be like, oh dude, I don't know. I've never done this before. He's like, fucking figure it out, right? So the point of it is, is that you're smart. You're in med school. You, you've you know prove to yourself and everybody else that you can do a lot of stuff you can figure things out so that's what you need to do when you're in med school when you're a doctor you know you need to be able to take information in and then process that stuff and apply it to different situations a lot of the USMLE is people come out of that uh, test and go these questions they don't have like there's not enough information for me to answer that's the point you're supposed to infer information in these questions and you're supposed to know like okay well, there's a 55 year old female who's overweight and has had three children you don't say like well she's appendicitis you immediately go this is a gallbladder question right the point of the whole video is to say you need to take a message to Garcia you need to go above and beyond you don't need to burden your residents or your attendings with things that they are wasting their time with with you. They they need somebody to just do that shit. And so that's what makes an amazing medical student and an amazing resident is when an, an amazing employee period. So you're also an employee in these situations, even though you're you know going trying to get into residency, all that stuff. You're, think of yourself as an employee and if your employer like they need stuff done right the employer can only do so many things and they need to do a you know a finite number of things but they need the employees to do the rest and they don't need to spend time telling the employees how to do it when to do it why to do it you know when to wipe your ass all that stuff they need to need the employees to take care of it as a medical student and a resident that's what you need to do is just take care of shit. 
and just fucking figure it out. That's my message for the day. I hope you guys like that. Comment below what you guys think makes a great medical student too. That would be awesome. Uh, or a resident, that would be good to hear. Like the video if you like it, share it with a friend, that'd be great. And subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it a lot. Thanks for watching again. Take care.